how cool is this set, huh? We are now just two days away from the total solar eclipse, the big event that we won't witness again in the U.S. for another 20 years. Mike Shanahan, Planetarium Director at the Liberty Science Center, joins us now. That is the largest planetarium in the Western Hemisphere. Right in Jersey City, I, yes. Amazing. Isn't that so, great? Thank you for being here. Okay, so let's talk, everybody's talking about safety here. Why are the glasses so important? So most of America is going to see a partial eclipse on Monday, not a total eclipse. It is never safe to observe a partial eclipse directly. Because there's just, it's like looking into the sun. The sun is so powerful, you do not want to do that ever. So you need safe protection for that. And how do you know which ones to get? So if they're labeled ISO uh -huh. 123, 122, those are the right filters to protect your eyes for that. ISO 122 and 123. So yeah, look yeah. for that. Okay, perfect. Okay. Now, what about what are some other techniques here to, to see the eclipse? Okay, so if you can't actually use the viewing glasses, do you want to try those out? And, okay. All yes. Right. Just to show how powerful these are. And by the way, like this is, it's just totally blacked out. I see a little bit of the light, but that's it. This cuts out all but one millionth of the sun's power. I'm going to take a million candle power flashlight okay. and shine it in your, you ready for this? Let's go. Here you go. All right. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> That, so <laughs> I very, wasn't expecting that. Very effective. <laughs> very effective. Yes, yeah, so that's the ideal way to do that. But there are also indirect methods if you want to uh, try using, for example, a common household item like a colander or a cheese grater to project the sun's image. Okay, so how do you do that? So let's take this colander here. Uh -huh. And I'll again take my million candle power spot. And during the actual eclipse, oh, cool. where you see holes right now that are round holes, you see little crescents of the eclipse happening uh -huh. by using a colander or even a humble cheese grater will achieve the same effect. So you can use your household utensils to view the sun indirectly. All right. And Mike, you brought a lot of fun stuff because clearly this is for the kids right over here. So what is this? So here we have a craft you can make to give even more protection if you have the glasses already. Putting them into a paper plate provides even more solar projection protection and also is really, really fun. How fun are these? So, I mean, come on, what kid wouldn't want to wear these? And see, this is for kids, so it doesn't fit me quite well, but <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Have fun and observe the eclipse all at the same time. Hey, what is the most important, like if you're looking for that one moment to see, what, what's that moment that you want to look at? So. At Liberty Science Center, we're going to be having a whole eclipse festival going on on Monday. Uh -huh. And the sweet spot moment is going to be 325 in the afternoon when through our tele solar telescopes, you'll see 91.2% of the sun blocked by the moon. So that's, that's the incredible. deepest moment. Fortunately, the eclipse lasts for two and a half hours. So with safe viewing devices, you have two and a half hours to catch it. But that deepest moment... Uh, uh, is the one to, to look for, 325. And basically, you want to keep your glasses on no matter what, it, unless you're in that zone of totality, in that path of totality, and only during totality, right? That's when you can just take it off for a moment. Exactly. So totality only lasts for a few moments. And of course, we're not seeing it here in New York City or New Jersey. But if you're in a total zone for the between 90 seconds and four and minutes and 28 seconds of the magic total, total moment. Yes, take your glasses off and enjoy the most beautiful sight you'll ever see in nature. But when it's partial, like we're going to have in New yep. York and New Jersey, keep those glasses on. Mike Shanahan. Right. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you so much. Right. And happy eclipse, right? Thank you. Uh, eclipse coverage begins on GMA Monday and then continues at 1 p.m. with the main event starting at 2 p.m. Eastern, anchored by David Muir and Lindsay Davis, right here on ABC. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel lots of great stuff here so go on click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day anytime we thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA